Damn it! Just as I thought. All right, well, let's stop the silly music because it doesn't seem to know how to stop on itself. You know, I thought this we were supposed to be able to go in there and get his crap. Time, way back. It does have, have a conventional lock? All right, Prince so we can't get to it. Bo. Run, bo, run! All right, well, Minsk has managed to hurt himself, so let's get him regenerating once again. All right, we're just going to toss some of this equipment over to her. Oh, it appears that we were probably given this as a reward. Some kind of magic sword. Bastard sword. Blade of Searing plus three. The benefits inherent in the sword are plain to see. It is exceptionally accurate, and a lick of flame follows every blow, searing the target in addition to the normal damage received. It is an efficient troll killer, though has not yet been heralded as such in a song or legend. It does fire damage. Plus three bastard sword. Neat. Hmm. So, I don't think we're ready to do a, another brawl. So I'm sure Minsk is more than eager to actually uh, get into it. I already talked to him. Oh, hey, there's Feyre and Solophane. Uh, I don't really want to talk to them. What's going on over here? To walk apart from house and queen is to walk into the grave. Greetings to you, male. You are one who is recently from Chedna Sad, correct? I have heard of you. We drow gather to tell tales of our conquests on the surface, or dark stories of our past. It is a tradition in Usnath that this place that was the first. Uh, what do you mean, the first? Hm. You do not know your lore very well if you do not understand what I speak of, male. Surely you know something of our history, no? Long ago, when our despised cousins of the service betrayed our kind and banished us to the depths, it was near this very place that the Drow first descended. A terrible legion. We encountered implacable foes at every turn throughout the Underdark. It was in this place that we first gathered together to protect ourselves. Usnatha means the first. The first place we gathered. The first place we wrested our birthright of power back from the sentence of our hated cousins. It is from Usnatha that we invaded the cities of the Stout Folk and established the first, greatest kingdom of Talantawar in wondrous Bayrendin. Bayrendin and Talantawar both are gone now, but Usnatha remains, a reminder of the dead of blood we owe to our hated surface, brethren. So, Usnatha is close to the surface, then. Not close, but closest. The passage that winds to the surface is very near here. It is guarded, however, by the great silver beast and close to us. Guarded? But what happens, say, if the passage was no longer guarded? There are many other wards against us, I believe, but the Silver Beast is the greatest amongst them. If it were no longer guarding the passage, I have little doubt we would overcome the other wards and pay our hated kindred a long overdue visit. Hmm, that's good to know. Do you have any other tales to tell? I have a few accomplishments yet, male. I completed the blooding but a year ago when I made a long voyage to the surface with two brothers. It is a blinding and foul place, the surface. My brothers and I found one of the surface elves, however, a female, pale and delightful to look upon. Oh, well, apparently they're still attracted to their elven cousins. She was almost too easily slaughtered. Okay, well, that's not really all right. We were hunted by elven patrols and my brothers were murdered. Had to come in, but I carried the head of the female back to the Underdark. It was considered a fine trophy for a blooding. My matron was pleased and has sponsored my entry into the Male Fighter Society next year. Lovely. Any other tales you could tell me? No, not really. I came here more to hear the others speak myself. Is there anything else Ready we can ask him, maybe? Task at and he's terribly unpleasant. Tales you're going to tell I have accomplishments. Yeah, he told us about the blooding. Can I ask you some questions, perhaps? If you wished an honest answer, Mail, your best course would be to approach Nimka. Yeah, we already talked to him. I'll go see him then. Alright, fine. Alright, there's this guy over here. Who's this? For the Spider Queen. Greetings, fellow Mail. I am Zordrin, manager of the Fighting Pit. Here are the courageous battle enslaved beasts for the glory of Lua and our entertainment. You seem a hardy type. There are several dread beasts that have been captured and await your death blow if you dare. You are Nisadrin, yes? Recently arrived? I've heard of you. Well, you seem to be famous around here. There are many here who would desire to see if you fight as well as they say. Of course, if you are pale and cowardly, you need not make the attempt. The Spider Queen, however, respects only those who are strong. 
what exactly is involved in this pit fight? It is a simple matter, male. I open the door for a short time. You enter before I close it. Once inside, I have the beast pushed in to fight you. If you win, you come out and collect 250 gold as a reward, and the satisfaction of a glorious battle. You lose, the slave feasts on your remains. Very simple. Uh, we don't have time for this right now. Then you are a pathetic excuse for a drow, male. Go and quiver in a corner and pray to the Spider Queen that she has gift you with a proper backbone one day. Yeah, and he's nasty because we don't accept the challenge. But this might be a decent way to actually get rid of some of the horrible monsters these trail have in store. Probably another thing Myths would probably be interested in doing. But where do we actually rest around here? To walk apart from house and creeds, to walk into the grave. Is there something in particular you need, male? A mug of black meat, perhaps? Or have you found a partner to retire to the Lust Chambers with? Uh, what? Do not speak insipidly, fool. This is a place for drow recreation as there any other is. Drow who find each other arousing may retire to the chambers for oiled massages, or whatever else they please. Failing that, there are the pits for fighting and the slave explosion rooms. For those with stomachs, are not too weak and pale, there are also many drow telling tales and stories here, a custom of the city. But I am sure you do not need to, need to guide you about. You have eyes, as I can well see. Now, is there something else that you need? Ask you some questions? No, you may not. I am not here to answer questions. I'm here to serve you. Fine, whatever. Alright, beds. Wow. Only royal accommodations, and it's expensive. And they have all kinds of weird drinks. Well, let's try some of them. Oh god, they're terrible. And apparently bitter black ale is really expensive down here. The other races nearest Nath are becoming bold. This fear Neblin refused tribute to the matron mothers, and the Elithid captured a high-ranking daughter. War seems certain. Oh me, oh my. Well, Mince wants some bitter black ale. The head of the mage tower is Uthnatha. Derex is allied with the house Jalat. The Lich Wizard was once a member of the Jalat family itself. Oh, liches. Creepy. Um, before we rest, um, is everyone... I don't know, is everyone properly equipped? Anyone want to get any particular spells ready? I know Carrot used his... He doesn't need a simulacrum. Um, um, I don't think so. I don't think there's anything we can cast in preparation for the next night. We might as well just check what we have prepared. I don't know, all of that does look good. Alright, Jahira, let's check there. That looks decent. Fine. Yeah. Okay. I did want some... Ma either magic resistance, chaotic commands, that's the one. Harper's Call and Iron Skins are... We just need more spell cast for her, is what we need. Maybe when she gets a, a bit more experience. Because it's a very situational spell, Chaotic Commands. Alright, all that looks good. That's fine. Does he have Minor Sequencer, or is that 4th level? Yeah, there it is. Okay, so he does have one of those. Yeah, he's our Breacher, Chain Lightning, Protection of Magic Weapons, and that's all he knows for now. Same thing with her, that's good. I don't know that many third level spells. Magic? Hmm, what is this? Protection from fire. Okay, that's good. Oh, she does have minor sequencer now. Um, what should she... She doesn't really use fire shield red that often. Alright, I'm gonna have her use that instead. Chain lightning. Contingency, obviously very useful. Actually, she has the choice. Kelvin's warding whip. Limited Wish, Spell Turning, and Summon Hakeashar. Spell Turning. If you cast against the Wizard to be round upon the original caster. Affects a total of 12 spell levels. Skills pass from any spell like abilities. Okay. Well, that would be pretty useful. It does last a while. But this can really uh, strip spell protections from enemies. Which I guess would be more useful. But we have Yan to do that. And doesn't she have Breach spells too? She does. Hmm. Ooh, actually, lower magic resistance might be a good one for her to have. And I'm gonna have her get spell turning ready, just so she can better protect herself from some of the magic that comes our way. As for Carrot, uh, he's got plenty of spells. More spells than he really knows what to do with, but yeah, it's always a good thing. 
All right, all that looks good. Yeah. All right, that's all fine and dandy. Nothing really here that I disagree with. All that looks strong. Notice most fifth level spells are all about attacking. I think it's kind of funny. Uh, let's see. Yep, disintegrate has been working well, especially for dealing with lithids. How does the death spell work again? I know it gets rid of summon creatures. Summon creatures slain automatically, or the AS dice are immune to their spell. So enemies we're facing down here are likely not going to be bothered. This is kind of an anti-summoned creature spell, which I guess it's useful to have one of those. Howard Stun has been proven very useful. And of course, spell sequencers, naturally. Summon a Chaos Shard. We've got a bunch of summoning spells. Summon Genie, the Freety, a Chaos Shard for dealing with mages, Prismatic Spray. Again, but you need the opportunity to spray at an enemy, project image, control undead, finger of death. Still does damage even if it fails. Mm, I'd say what we have right now is good. We have the Simulacrum, which saved him from the demon, and Abidizim's hard wilting. Okay, that looks pretty good. Alright, so I'd say we're probably all set to rest then. Let's uh, retire for the night. We don't have to talk to those other people until like a day later, so whatever. Okay, we rest for the night, and feel a lot better. I think everyone's in prime condition here. Yep, everyone's back in tip-top shape. Let's see, he has the Ring of Regeneration. Let's put on the Ring of Free Action again. Make way, villainy! Whatever I Hero do. coming through! Alright, well, let's see what's over here. And it uh, looks like there's an upstairs as well we can uh, investigate. It is you again. Ugh, here we go again. Ah, so Veldrin arrives at last to greet the female that he rescued so valiantly from the clutches of the filthy devourers. Ah, I must have been invisible and uninvolved during that encounter, I see. <laughs> nice, Solfane. I was speaking to Veldrin, Solfane. When I speak to you, it shall be to command you to lick my boot. Keep your bitterness silent or lose your tongue. Now ignore your emasculated commander's outburst, Veldrin, and consider this a time for reward and enjoyment. Mother Ardlace was pleased by your performance. Solofane's abilities are known to her, but she was delighted to learn you are such a powerful fighter. Usnatha could use one such as you, Veldrin. Uh, not really a fighter, more like a wizard, but whatever. Amongst the drow, only the strong survive. You could have slaves at your beck and call, rewards at your fingertips, the favor of Loth. How does this sound? <laughs> you could say I think I'd rather have you. No, no, Kurt is no no way interested in the drow. Uh, I mean, he's not that much of a racist compared to a lot of other people, but he, he does not like them. I mean, the fact that they're elves. Oh yes, I mean that physically makes them more attractive. But oh, these people are just scum. I mean, without exception, it seems like. Except for Drizzt, he seems like the one good drow that exists. But whatever. <laughs> we're not going to say we're not interested, and we're not going to ask what the catch is. Let's just express some really fake enthusiasm. Sounds good to me! Excellent. It is good to see someone with a modicum of ambition. Something not everyone has a true grasp of. Isn't that right, Solofine? Perhaps he has not yet seen the hook behind the worm, fairy. The ignorant are always blissful. Sometimes the worm is worth the hook, fool. One might have thought you would have learned that lesson long ago. Seeing as you are so capable, Veldrin, you and Solofain have been given another task to complete for the greater glory of Loth. Oh, great. You will meet me on the city platform away from curious ears, but not right away. Rest and amuse yourselves for a time. I shall be here a while. After I leave, take no longer than a few days before you meet with me on the platform. This is the Matron Mother's commands, and so shall it be. A few days. Well... It would be a one day, or a couple days, or a few days, so I'm guessing she's talking about three days. Alright, so we actually have some time to relax. Well, relax as much as we can. And maybe talk to some people around here. I'm supposed to meet her on the platform? Yeah, Let's, it's just name I don't know, chat some people up around here. Solophane, how you doing? What is it, Veldrin? I wish nothing more than to be left on my own beyond the clutches of that Dispano witch. What's the deal between you and Fairy anyway? 
That is something I would rather not discuss, Veldrin, with you or with anyone. Suffice it to say that I have had dealings with Fairy and House Despana once before. Due to my own alliances, however, they cannot take proper revenge. Yet. Hmm. Obviously bad blood. What's there to do here? There are many entertainments to please if even the most cruel or lustful amongst us, Veldrin. I am sure you can find something. I, myself, am rather uninterested, then. Do you know anything about dragons in these caverns? Eh? Dragons? Dragon kind can be found throughout the Underdark, Veldrin, as I'm sure you well know. Some walk amongst our kind when it suits them. But in the vicinity of Usnatha, I would say no. There are a few dragon kind found here. The most dangerous were driven off long ago. It is said there is an ancient dragon of silver that guards the old passages to the surface where our hated cousins live. Perhaps the stories are true. And trying to ask more about Fairy, he's not willing to indulge our curiosity. Alright, well does she have anything else to say to us? Yes? Is there something you wish, Veldrin? Do you know anything about dragons? Yes, enjoy the time you have to yourself. You are fortunate, Veldrin, that my gaze has fallen upon you. With you by my side, things will be made much easier. And if you are an obedient and intelligent male, and an imaginative lover, should I desire, you may engineer to make things even easier for yourself. Uh, what? Um, okay then. What can you tell me about the matron mother in your house? House de Spana exists in more places than merely Ustnatha, Belgium. Here, Mother Ardales rules over our house and is our most favored of Loth. I have many younger sisters scheming for my position. The more capable, both older and younger, I have poisoned or murdered as necessary. Oh, isn't that adorable? I am the strongest and eldest of Ardales' daughters now, and when she is weak and I kill her, I will become the matred mother of my house. How nice. Murder your sisters, and eventually your mother, too. Isn't that lovely? Uh, well, we can't just say how terrible that is. Again, oh, you sound rather ambitious. Of course she does. Well, then let's be falsely encouraging. Excellent. You are very strong. Soon, fortune shall move House Despana above all others in Usnatha, and I shall be matron mother of Loth's most favored. Stay close to my path. Why? What is happening soon? You shall see, Veldrin. If you are intelligent, that is. Hmm. So what is this deal exactly with you and Solophane? Have you asked him this question? The answer you may bet may be entirely different. Let me just say that Solophane is too weak to be worthy of my respect. The matron mother would sacrifice him to the temple for his boldness, but he has lied himself with a powerful house, so the arrogant male walks free. But fortunes change, Veldrin. Fortunes always change. I'll be on my way. Yes, enjoy the time, blah blah blah. And... Ugh. Of course! Yeah, no thanks. Skip on the whole lover business. Um... Okay, so we have a few days in the city. I guess we can wander around, talk to people, do things. First off, though, well, we have this pe challenge pending, because Minsk beat up that other... sod, who was trying to make himself seem big. Alright, um, I don't know, let's check out this place. Not really done doing that yet. Is a dead Away with you, oh, male, yes. unless you care for a dagger in your gullet. What right you are. How would you react to a female? If you want to speak, why don't you talk to the storytellers? I'm sure they would like nothing more than to speak with you. Just as I thought. Oh, well, not quite as nasty. Whoops. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about Onward, you? Loth be praised. All I... victory is her doing. I welcome you to the Lust Chambers, male. I do so adore the presence of new blood, especially in such a handsome form and with such battle prowess, I hear. You come from Ched Nassad. I have heard that the Nassadrons are stuffy and conservative. I am intrigued to see if this matter is the truth or not. Come, male. I demand that you please me. I have fought long in the Society for Lost Favor, and I am in need of a reprieve for the night. Uh, uh, no... Okay, how should Carrot take this? Because he obviously is no way interested in this. I know! He can pretend to be gay! No, I have no interest in such as you! Do not disgust me! You dare! 
Were there any other place in the lust chambers I would have your flesh flayed from your bones for such an insult? Pray our past, do not cross again, worm. Nah, yeah, take that. Task at hand. <laughs> Homosexuality saves us again. Matron's order and I'm here to revel, male. I'm here to relax. Neither of these include you. Be gone. Well, then. Do not question the matron mothers. Greet you, male, by the dark mother and the pleasure her children are entitled to. Here we breathe spices of luxury and enjoy the fruits of our conquest. I've been trained in the temples to master the arts of oiled massage and other exotic pleasures, both to repair the aura and calm the soul. It is a lengthy process, but a night under my care is worth a fourth night of rest in the finest boudoir. If one has the time for such diversion, of course. I don't think I'd be interested in anything like that. As you wish, the Lust Chambers are available to all those who wish them, and all is permissible in the greater name of the Dark Mother here. Hooray! Something in me. Oh, well, they're sexually liberal, it seems. Well, <laughs> we probably made an enemy in that person there. Love be praised. If you tried the game with the rune and the slaves, most amusing, if messy, you should go and give it a try while there's still few slaves to spare. <coughs> oh, glory for the dark mother! Fools! You should have fallen with your house. Now the mother Loth has sentenced you into eternal torment of the demon-led pits. There's no less than you deserve. No, have mercy. Free us. Let us get out of here. Free you. <coughs> you attempt to sneak into Usnatha and pass yourselves off as drow of a true house. You deserve worse than this. No, we are loyal to the Spider Queen. We are her faithful servants. You are weak, and your house was weak, so she cares not. Your house has been wiped from history's eye, and so soon so shall you be. Bastard! Our house was strong. You were favored by Loth. We were. We should have been triumphant. Yes, loyal we were. House de Vere. House de Vere. Oh, whoa. We'd recognize that. House de Vere would be the house probably of Viconia de Vere. The drow we have saved the lives of on two different occasions. But who we're not really at all interested in traveling with. House de Vere is nothing. Ashes on the wind. As you too shall be. You should have died with your own matron in your own city. Now, well, we shall see, and I shall find it most amusing. Insolent bastards! This could have just as easily be you, fools! Darkness take you both! No darkness take you! Ha 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 ha! And they just kind of sit in the pit. Of course! You're all jerks. Way with you, lowly male! Oh, Bubble Bob! Leave me be! Mother. I am not finished insulting these random Action, people. Mm. No! Malafe, no! I hope this is not he just killed himself. We must strive <coughs> to maintain balance. Yikes! Well, wow, that's just terrible. Uh, who would you be? Do not question the matron. Greetings, friend. Have you tried this amusement? You simply press the button here, and one of the foolish slaves who stands on that rune explodes. Such a marvelous magic. Ha 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 Here, I shall show you how it works. Who is the unlucky, la unlucky slave to be today, hmm? Well, that's disgusting. And what do you know, this giant cage of poor prisoners killing themselves right next to the lust pits? And the exploding slave pit. Right. Okay, then. Well, after being subject to all that I horror, I think that's probably going to get Minsk nice and angry. Angry enough to want to beat the hell out of some nasty, disgusting drow who are traumatizing him with their horrific, horrific lives and practices. In fact, I think he probably wouldn't mind a couple of these. Give him a little bit of an edge for when he goes in there and beats people's brains into squishy messes. I don't think that this thing is actually useful for him. The Rod of Lordly Might. Uh, what, a spear plus two, mace plus two, flaming longsword, spear? It's not really <coughs> that useful. He might as well just keep a strength potion on hand for when he needs it. 22, 21, eh, whatever. Okay. 
Bye, then. I think next time, next session anyway, we're gonna have Minsk exercise his anger. Maybe get some more dueling in in the pit. Beat up some more of these nasty drow that he wants to take some uh, hide out of. And then maybe we'll dispatch some of these horrific monsters that they have settled in here too. Not <clears throat> only because Minsk probably would want to to take out his anger on these pathetic creatures, but also because Shakir would be interested we would kind of see this as an opportunity for them to raise the the reputation of the party here in this disgusting city and get rid of Drow, which is really always a good thing. I mean, he's kind of taking the attitude that there's no redeeming people like this, so why not? All right, but that'll be for next time. I hope everyone has enjoyed watching. Um, take care, and I will see you all another time. Bye-bye.